Brevin and I have just arrived at Primary Children's Hospital. Now, you just kind of keep it out as straight as you can. Ugh. You think you can drive okay? Let's let's go see. I just knew that they love they love us. They really love Brevin, and they have his best interests at heart, and they want to help him. Tell me, what are you doing? Um, taking this thing off. Brevin and I have just arrived at Primary Children's Hospital and we are going to have a follow-up appointment. He's been doing some physical therapy for several months now, working on his elbow and hips. We've kind of reached a plateau, so we're going to figure out what the next step is. Let's go get some answers. what we've determined. We are going to try the next step in occupational therapy to get some more gains in his arm and Revan is going to have a permanent cast put on yeah. to stretch him out and see where we can get within a week. We kind of decided on the spot and feel good about going forward with that and seeing what will happen. So, wish us luck. <laughs> Just kind of keep it out as straight as you can. And if you have any numbness, healing, sharp pain, fingers start going purple, <laughs> all of those things, I'd want you to take it off. Okay. Even in the next 10, 15 minutes. Nice. I just want to let you be able to go so you aren't half just sitting here to. And maybe you're like, dude, I kind of love the, <laughs> love I, the pink with the purple love hearts. Oh, man, bro. We didn't get all the way up. I may have to go multicolor. <laughs> you're That's like, fine. it'll come off before school. Oh, here we go. He's got a cast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Did that really hurt? Yeah. Okay, they've We're really. Good. They stretched him so good and put a permanent cast on him, a hard cast, it's, but it's not as hard as a regular cast. And How am I going to play the piano? I don't know, you'll have to sit far back away from the fetch. Okay. We're just going to have to figure things out oh, man. as we go. It's going to be interesting. Struggles. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be interesting, but I'm feeling hopeful. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. I think that we're off to a good start. In, in, helping Brevin find some sort of relief from everything from everything and, and stretching out his elbow and getting him some more motion and range and anyway that's where we're at with that we're gonna hop in the car and get him to school we'll see how that goes because it is his right arm that's now in a cast <laughs> All right, I'm gonna send you off. Oh. You think you can drive okay? Let's oh, let's go sorry. see how. Can you reach ten and ten and two? Yeah, more likely to be like one and. <laughs> I don't know. I'll figure it out. You'll figure it out. Okay. Love you, bud. See ya. It 
it works. Okay. Okay, see ya. Bye. Well, I've sent Brevin off to school and that was kind of an interesting, unexpected way to start our day. I have a lot of thoughts and feelings kind of swimming around in my head right now. I was really hoping that we might find some more concrete answers today out of this appointment. I'm really wanting to know the source of the problem instead of just trying to treat the symptoms. However, I don't know if that will ever be the case for us, if we'll ever find out what is going on or what is causing the problem in Brevin's arms. But I, I have this overwhelming sense of gratitude and confidence in the doctors that are working with us to treat him. When they came into the room and sat down with us, I just, I just knew that they loved they love us, they really love Brevin, and they have his best interests at heart, and they want to help him just as much as we want to help him. And so I'm so grateful for that. I mentioned that to Brevin on our drive home, and he said that, Mom, I felt that how much they cared about me before they even came into the room with that sweet note that they left on the bed for him. So, Sometimes life is challenging and we face those challenges with optimism and hope and that's kind of what this whole vlog is going to be about is how we deal with those challenges. We are looking forward to what our family calls Operation Serve to Heal and it is kind of like a service initiative that my sister-in-law and her daughters started up some years ago to help them. Through the anniversary of my brother's passing, he was in a plane accident. It's been now 11 years ago on May 1st. And coming up, leading into that day, that um, anniversary has always, it's always been difficult because there's nothing that we can really look forward to on May 1st, or at least there wasn't before we started Operation Surf to Heal. And that helps us honor the memory of my brother and his service to our country by getting involved in service projects. When life gets challenging and things seem almost too hard to bear, it, it helps to take a step back and change your perspective and look outward and serve others. That has been a tremendous blessing to us. It has helped heal us and support us through difficult times. And it has helped give us feelings of optimism and hope. So that is what we are doing. Hopefully you might feel as inspired to join along with us in Operation Serve to Heal to look outward and spend a week where you intentionally look for opportunities to serve others around you in your community to honor those that you love in your life. So after a few days wearing a cast to straighten your arm, tell me, what are you Just, doing? Um, taking this thing off. I've been looking forward to this all day. I've been so itchy. Okay, but you just have one night with it off. I know, and then I go get yeah, another yeah. one. I'm gonna do it. Well, there's one. Yeah, there was like four of them. Okay, so this vlog is really a bit unique in that it covers the space of a, about a week and what we're combining here, focusing on is Brevin's arm that we're having some physical therapy done on as well as our service initiative which is our 
Operation Surf to Hill, and I talked a little bit about that. And I'll put a link in the description box that takes you to my sister-in-law's, her webpage that explains what we do and why we're doing this and in honor of my brother. Today is actually May 1st, which marks the 11th anniversary of his accident. But right now we're here, we're gonna get Brevin into another physical therapy session and he is going to be recast. <laughs> and he's looking forward to it. <laughs> Not really, but... Oh well, that's what we're gonna do. So you had a one night reprieve from having a cast mm -hmm. and we're just gonna stretch it even tighter and give you a new one. Mm -hmm. Brevin Park here for an appointment with um, Dr. Bracken. Brevin, you got telling people that were asking you, what, it, what is that all about? <laughs> It's like braces for my elbow. That's yeah, basically what I'm doing. Yeah, that's, totally, that's the shortened version. That is a good way to describe it. I mean, it is. It. It's, we're putting on stuff to straighten it out, just like we do with your teeth. All right, so I have picked up Ella and enlisted her help with one of our Operation Surf to Heels projects. You know what we're going to do? We're going to... um. Buy a so delicious card, and then when someone comes, it will already be paid for them. So we are going to leave these flyers. They explain a little bit about what we're doing tonight. We are going to leave them with the employees at this little soda cookie shop, along with a prepaid gift card, and um, ask them to scan that anytime someone comes through the drive-thru or into the store to pay for their order tonight and then just let them know you're you don't have to pay for your drinks they've been taken care of so we think that would be a fun surprise i like to think of the service like just imagine how it would be for the person when as they discover this surprise of like getting something that that they weren't expecting so that's kind of fun it's kind of like leaving things on a doorstep and running and then after we go here i I'm going to stop at a floral shop. I have some other things planned for our day. Should we go do this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. We'd like to purchase a, a gift card, yeah. and then could you use that oh. to pay for anyone who comes through until the gift card runs out? Yeah. Would you be able to do that for us? Yeah. And then, if you wouldn't mind, like, occasionally hand out one of these little flyers. Okay, sure. That would be awesome. Well, so that's all set up for you. And you want us to just do that tonight? Or just until the card runs out. So, like, if it doesn't run out tonight, you can do it tomorrow or whenever. Or just... Hey, and thank you, you so much. much. No, that's it. We're good. Awesome. Okay. Yay. Good night. Thanks. Okay, I wasn't thinking about how late it was, and um, we stopped at the floral shop, and they're already closed. We're just gonna stop at the grocery store and see if we can find a gift or some flowers maybe we could pick up to take to. Let's see, wow, here's an idea. Maybe we could get her flowers that she could plant in her own yard. What do you think? That's a possibility. Anyway, we're gonna get some flowers to take to a friend who will be starting chemotherapy treatment tomorrow and we want to wish her well and give her a little bit of sunshine and brightness um, as she tackles that challenge that she's gonna be facing soon.
can't say enough about how much doing these little acts of service brings such peace and comfort to us on a day that might otherwise be extremely challenging and and has been challenging in the past for us. And it really doesn't have to be grand or extraordinary. It can just be little simple things like taking a friend a, a flower or saying a kind word or sending a kind text message to somebody. Even the best acts of service I think we can just do within our own homes um, for our family. So if you really want to change the world and make it a better place, go home and love your family. Give them extra hugs every night and appreciate all the moments that you have with them. Thank you.